a desperate scam victim speaking on condition of anonymity, shared with News Force the harrowing ordeal of being duped out of more than $2,000 and facing life-threatening situations while trying to recover his money. The victim, in a phone interview, revealed that it all began when he responded to a Facebook ad for a used weed eater. Well, the weed eater is $2,400 cash. Yes, I gave him in hand. And what did he tell you? He, he told me that he's going to get me the weed eater. And I haven't got the weed eater and he's been threatening me all along. And he has attempted to chop me yesterday. And he's been threatening me, sending pictures of guns and people that are dead, dead pictures and stuff. That's what he's been sending to me. The victim stated his attempt to retrieve his cash back when the promised weed eater never arrived was met with violence. There's a tire shop in Fonchik, there is where he's living. There's a tire shop there. I was by the road waiting for the police because he ran after me with a cutlass all by the road. And there was a friend of his with a jeep who almost ran me over with the jeep. The friend was cursing and quarreling with me, threatening me. But I had them one witness with me. I had one witness with me. The 28-year-old, visibly shaken, said he has involved law enforcement and a lawyer to help him in this predicament. I'm working very hard. I'm a farmer. I'm only 28 years old. This will become... I very bad because I have a landscaping company. That's what has led me to get in the with it, huh? I have a, a chainsaw. My dad left me when he died, and I continue the business. You understand? I have a landscaping company. I'm a farmer, and I do landscaping. Uh, it have many years I've been doing it, and uh, I'm, I'm feeling very down. And I'm, I don't know what else to do. The public need to know about those guys and what they do. Yesterday he attacked me. He was going to chop me. If I didn't get assistance, he was going to kill me there for my own money. The alleged victim says the man has now changed his Facebook handle and blocked him on the platform. He hopes his story serves as a cautionary tale for others about the dangers of online ads. I'm a young hard working person and I just lost a sister of mine just three months ago. Yes, I just lost a sister of mine. She died of lupus. Very young. And that is very touching. I took it very hard and I am working very hard. And it's not good. It's not good what I'm going through. I just need assistance to get my money back or the machine that he promised me. Because right now, I don't even have $550 to get to the lawyer. That's what he's asking to me. He's just trying to assist me, but I don't have all that money right now because I don't have the machine to get to work. I don't have nothing. He has come me. The victim believes he's just one of many scammed by the online handle, which has mysteriously changed as of the time of the filing of this report. He hopes the St. Lucia criminal justice system works to his advantage, helping him recover his money and hold accountable the perpetrator of the attempted cutlass attack and scam.